Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a parallel circuit. You should then be able to describe the pattern of current flow in a parallel circuit. In the last video we saw that an electric current is a flow of electrical charge around a circuit. This moves from the negative end of the cell to the positive end. However, scientists always draw the current in the opposite direction and we call that the conventional current. We measure the current using an ammeter, which we place in the circuit like this. Now this is a series circuit because it doesn't have any branches, so the current can only flow in one path. Remember that the current is the same all the way around a series circuit. In this video we're looking at parallel circuits, so let's get started. I'm showing you a simple parallel circuit here. As you can see a parallel circuit contains branches. Now what this means is that the current splits. Some of the current passes through both of the branches. So we're going to use ammeters to see how the current splits. The top ammeter measures the current leaving the cell. As you can see a current of 0.3 amperes is leaving the cell. So let's measure the current in the two branches. In the upper branch we've got a current of 0.1 amperes and in the lower branch we've got a current of 0.2 amperes. If we measure the current going back to the cell, again we can see that this is now 0.3 amperes. So here's the key fact about parallel circuits. The current in the branches adds up to the total current leaving the cell. So here's a question for you to try. I want you to work out the current in the lower branch. Pause the video now and work this out yourself. Okay, so we know that the current leaving the cell is 0.5 amperes. We also know that the current in the upper branch is 0.3 amperes. Remember that the current in the branches adds up to the total current leaving the cell. This means that the current in the lower branch must be 0.2 amperes. Here's another question for you. You need to work out the current leaving the cell. Pause the video now and try this question yourself. Okay, so the current in the upper branch is 0.4 amperes and the current in the lower branch is 0.3 amperes. We know that the current in the branches adds up to the total current leaving the cell. This means that the current leaving the cell must be 0.4 amperes plus 0.3 amperes, which gives us an answer of 0.7 amperes. Now in the later video, we're going to look at what determines how much current moves through different branches of a parallel circuit. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on current and parallel circuits in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a parallel circuit. You should then be able to describe the pattern of current flow in a parallel circuit.